Well, ordinarily in the morning when we pick up the responders. Captain Daniel King is, relatively speaking, one of the lucky ones here on the Gulf. For more than two decades, he has made a living running personnel and supplies to and from the big oil rigs offshore. When the Deepwater Horizon well blew up, sank, and started spewing crude oil into the Gulf, he just shifted gears a little bit. We never really missed a lick. We just went from service in the oil field industry to helping with the cleanup. But for his friends in the fishing business, it is, of course, a completely different story. Oh, it's terrible. Some of these people, that's, what they've, that's all they've ever done. Their fathers did it and their fathers did it. That's all they've ever done. Their whole lives are wrapped up in their trawlers and their skimmers and their boats, and it's heartbreaking. Like the rest of us, Daniel King has watched with growing sadness and frustration as this slow motion environmental train wreck washed up on the shores and harmed precious wildlife. Clearly, no one was prepared to handle this. But I can't see them not rethinking the whole situation. It seems like to me, if this would ever happen again, I think they would probably be a lot better prepared next time. We can only hope so, but the XPRIZE Foundation is doing something more than hoping for the best. It is offering a serious incentive to change the state of the art, which today amounts to a clunky, cumbersome technique of spraying chemical dispersants, or trying to corral the spilled oil with floating booms, and then skimming the surface to capture the crude. You would think there has to be a better way. So why doesn't it exist? A lot of the capital in the oil industry has been focused on how do you drill deeper, further, more efficiently. Little money has been actually spent so far on how do you clean it up uh, properly. Peter Diamandis is the founder and CEO of the XPRIZE Foundation, which rocketed to global fame in 2004 with the $10 million Ansari XPRIZE. A team led by aviation legend Burt Rutan flew Spaceship One to the edge of space twice in less than a week to win the prize money. But that was just the beginning for XPRIZE. Since then, it has created other prizes to spur small teams with big ideas to solve other big challenges the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize to build a car that gets at least 100 miles per gallon, the Google Lunar X Prize to send a private unmanned spacecraft to the moon, and the Archon Genomics X Prize to map 100 human genomes in 10 days. The X Prize Foundation is really focused on identifying places where things are stuck, where there's a market failure, where innovation is desperately needed. And then we design large incentive prizes to really attract the innovators from around the planet to solve that problem. So now the foundation that made private spaceflight a reality is looking in the other direction, to the oceans. We need, we need a solution, we need technology that can have rapid deployment and, uh, and, and high capacity. And that doesn't exist today. XPRIZE VP and oceanographer Francis Bailon says the new prize to innovate oil spill cleanup came to be very quickly. They asked some of their big supporters for help, and Wendy Schmidt came forward to fund the prize within 48 hours of learning about the idea. She looked at, at what we're trying to do, uh, the mission, the vision of this prize, how Im immensely important it is for, uh, uh, for the future, and uh, she has stepped up to the plate right, right away. The Wendy Schmidt Oil Cleanup X Challenge promises $1.4 million in prize money. The winner will get $1 million. The second place team will receive $300,000, and the third place team, $100,000. I am extremely looking forward to the next year. I think we'll have some amazing conversation. We'll have some great, uh, some great moments with new mavericks, new thinkers. Um, and uh, I, I'm looking forward next, uh, in a year from now, to showcase the winner. A jury of experts will sort through the team designs and pick the best ideas for a head-to-head -head competition. Scaled versions of these new technologies will then be built and competed for their throughput and cleanup efficiency. It will happen in the world's largest ocean water oil spill recovery testing facility called OMSET, located in New Jersey. The whole reason that we're doing this competition is to have a result. We're not interested in rewarding somebody for something they did in the past, but for causing new technology to come into existence to solve this problem now and in the future. For those who prize and depend on clean oceans like Daniel King, this competition could make a real difference the next time disaster strikes. This would never happen if there was a 
something like that in place already. But you know, this has never really happened before, so nobody foresaw it. But yeah, from this point on, sure, I think surely somebody would come up with something better.